Hey everyone, Paint with Rick. We're going to do another golden open uh, painting with acrylics, okay? Today I got, I actually have an underpaint today. It's already dried. I used, uh, I didn't use golden open paint because that stuff doesn't dry. I used uh, regular basic acrylic, raw sienna, okay, for my underpaint here. I'll show you how I did it. I, I don't, I'm not going by anything. I'm just using my mind. I, I just put a mountain back here, right? And then I kind of used this color and sketched it in a little, a mountain there. And then I put some dark here for trees, here for trees. And then I decided, well, I'll put a river down here coming from behind these trees some trees here these are going to go off into the sky here some evergreen trees same thing over here so i put some dark up there i'll show you how i did it with the water i just i took a brush let me get a little of that raw sienna on there and i'll we'll lay my water in now so i just come up here with a brush and kind of i'll scrub this in by the time i get down to the water this paint will be dry because it's regular acrylic paint. And then uh, I can paint over it. So it's just some, it, a lot of people, you know, like having an underpaint. You don't have to. You can, uh, it's just a good way to design your painting before you even start because, uh, I don't, I don't have to use an underpaint anymore design because I can just paint on the fly. So I try and create as I go, you know. But it is good to have, you know, some kind of color underneath white. You can even put gray up there, whatever you want. Something, if it's a landscape, you want some kind of earth tone. This is an earth tone, raw sienna. So I already did that about 10 minutes ago. It's already dry, ready to go. So now let's talk about the golden open. These are different. They they work almost like oil paint. So, but there is some tricks you got to know. Like uh, you can't lay these trees in here and then come up here and come back to them and expect them to be wet for you. So. You got to work the painting in a, in a certain order, okay? And I'll, I'll do this one today. We'll work from the sky down, okay? Blending it, all that, okay? All right, so I got uh, this kit. There's 80 different colors you can get, but there's this kit that uh, it's called uh, traditional oil painting for landscapes. They give you... a uh, all the colors you need for landscapes okay ultramarine blue indian yellow sap green the van dyke brown white and alzerian crimson so i mix a little brown in my uh sap green for trees and then i also have sap green with just a little indian yellow in it to, so it's lighter then I have sap green with white in it to even make it even lighter. So that's all. I, and I mix a little Alzerian crimson with some Indian yellow. And it, it's got this pretty cool uh, orange color. So let's talk about the brushes. You can use acrylic brushes or you can use uh, oil on these, they say. So I'm going to start with the sky. I'm going to use a uh, traditional acrylic brush. This is a number four round. So what I'm envisioning, I'm seeing some yellow right around the horizon there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to grab some of that Indian yellow and put it at the, the top of my mountain there. Okay. Maybe this will be a sunset, okay? Put in some of this uh, 
Indian yellow. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to actually, uh, I know I'm going to have trees here. I'll put a little over here just in case the trees don't fill up the whole area. So I'm starting with the sky. I'm going to probably work from here up now, okay? Because I wanted to have uh, some kind of sunset here. Indian yellow. We'll leave these dark spots in there, so maybe we'll put a cloud over that, okay? Indian yellow just above your mountain. Now let's grab some of that. I mixed Alzerian crimson. Uh, you can dip into your water and wet your brush, okay? And let's uh, put some of that reddish color. Mix a little bit in with the yellow on top. It's almost like uh, an orange color. Just a little. Bring it up just a little. Now let's grab a, a blender brush. I'm going to use a, a fan blender brush, okay? And let's come in here and blend those two colors where they're meeting. Let's blend them in a little bit. Very good. All right, now I'm going to go to blue. I'm going to make, I'm going to come with the blue and come down. I'm going to use a, uh, a big filbert brush for that. Check it out. It's a number uh, 12. Wow, this thing is huge. So I can get some coverage going. So I mixed a little bit of the blue with some white. So it's not so blue. And let's put some blue up in here. Dip a little bit into your, get your brush wet with some water. Okay. Not too much. If, if you put too much, uh, move to another section. Let's fill in the sky with some blue. It's okay to let that uh, underpaint show through too. Let's just fill this in. I'm going to fill the sky up with uh, some clouds as well. So what I'm doing now, I'm actually grabbing some white and blue and kind of mixing it on the canvas as I come down with my brush. Grab a little white and a little blue. Come down to our crimson color. Very good. That's looking good. nice. I'm going to make my corners a little darker. It's pretty fun. Uh, Acrylic, you know, a lot of people don't like oil paint, so that's why I decided to start doing uh, some of these paintings in acrylic. So now I'm going to grab my fender, <coughs> my fan blender brush, and kind of blend this in up here. And Today I'm going to actually do the clouds first. I, the last video I did, I waited and did the clouds last. So let's put some clouds up there now. I'm actually going to use the, uh, I'm going to keep using this big uh, filbert brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue first. And on top of my yellow, an orange. I'm gonna stamp in some uh, bluish color down here. Okay, really small clouds at the top of the horizon.
very small wipe your brush off now and come in here and tap out the bottom a little bit let's grab that uh, fan brush now and blend the bottom go across those clouds really lightly <clears throat> let's move on up to the white clouds I'll probably have to cover those up because they're turning green, but let's stamp some clouds up in here. Just using white. Let's stamp in like the top of a cloud. Let me cover this one up and come up here to the side. Cover this one up. All right, now wipe your brush off and let's stamp the bottom of the cloud and make it bigger. Just stamp the bottom part. Don't touch the top part. It's getting a little bit of that yellow in there. That looks cool. Stamp it out. Get your uh, fan blender brush. Let's blend the bottoms. Let's like pull them one way or the other and then lightly blend it. Go across the top. Blend it out. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to put some more, a bigger, a bigger cloud up here uh, that's closer to us. Stamp it across this one. So this one's going to be a big cloud on the side. Same thing over here. It's almost like doing an, an upside down cloud. Just stamp it in. Let's get here. I'm going to use try my uh, mop brush now and lightly blend that. Wow, looks pretty good. All right, let's. Uh, Let's do the mountain now. The mountain, I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, brown and blue to get a grayish color. I should have done that first, but... Brown and blue. I should make a grayish color for you. I'm going to use a number two fan brush. Get my brush wet with water. Now let's uh, let's put this color up on our mountain. Do the uh, edge the edge of it first. And then what we're going to do is uh, pull down the color like this. Just pull it down, shape the mountain. Very good. You can see some of the underpaint showing up through there now let's get a uh, I'm going to use a number four round oh it's actually a filbert brush number four filbert it's really small small filbert let's put some snow up here uh, just on the right side of your peaks with this white 
let's pull some snow. It's almost the same way I do it with the knife, okay? Just pull it down. Create some snow up there. We're going to give the mountains some dimension now. I'm going to have this one maybe coming now. I'll have that one in front of that one. Very good. Just throw some white up there like that. Now I'm going to mix a little blue and uh, white and gray for a uh, shadow color. Now everywhere you put white, let's uh, pull some of this color to the left, okay? It's a mixture of blue, white, and gray. Wet your brush a little. just left of your snow. And then we're going to blend those two colors together. I'm going fast because uh, I want to be able to blend it now. Okay, now wipe your brush off. Wherever your blue and white are touching, let's blend those uh, colors together. Wherever the wipe your brush off, where the blue and white are touching, let's blend them in. It'll make the mountain look really cool. Makes it look like you did some uh, a lot of work up there. Look at that! I hope that's coming up. I know it's. Uh, the lighting out here is not the best. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do next. Now I'm going to, I have some trees here and some trees here. And I'm going to uh, use a number two fan brush. And uh, they're going to be smaller back here. So I'm going to start here and stamp in my color up to about here is where I have it. And then I'm gonna fill it in, keep them small back here. Just fill it in, these are gonna end up being uh, trees. And now with your, uh, let's do these back here since we got uh, paint on our brush. Bring these up a little here and smaller over here and around the water just like that. Now with your brush take the corner of it and let's pull up just use the corner pull up just a little while it's wet so with regular acrylic paint you wouldn't even be able to pull it up right now it'd be dry already but this stuff is working pretty good see how I'm working in a, a certain order you got to do this or you got to work from top to down or bottom up so now let's pull some of this color to the left here under our trees maybe we'll get some ground in here now create some ground by scumming it in there. See that? Very good. Same thing here, just take your brush underneath these and pull it to the right because we're gonna have water down here. That looks pretty good. I like that. I wanna lighten up uh, under my trees now so I'm gonna dip into my water and just get a little bit of titanium white on it. 
and put some white underneath those trees so the trees pop out a little more okay I also turns the grass a little lighter same thing here take your brush with the white underneath those trees <clears throat> it's really looking good I